For the residents of St. Maraglis, those struggles would come to an end as the Allied forces prepared a surprise attack against the occupying forces. Don Lassen, a paratrooper from the 82nd Airborne, recalls. Before we take off for an invasion, the last thing they do is have chaplain services, you know, church services. And uh, they take the guys, the Protestant guys over here and the Catholic guys over there. And if the Jewish guys, uh, they had a rabbi somewhere. And our chaplain uh, told us, you know, he said, now listen, I want to tell you guys something. When you get in that plane and, and ready to step out that door, just remember the last words of Jesus on the cross. Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And he said, just keep that in mind. What I appreciated was, he didn't say, because you came to church now, you guys are gonna make it. He didn't tell us that. He said, some of you are not gonna make it, but you have to keep this message in your mind because you're fighting for what's right, see? And uh, that was our, our words of encouragement. When we got into those planes, we had so much junk in our pockets and around us. We had two bandoliers, one over each shoulder and one around our waist, and K rations and grenades and everything that went with it. So uh, we get in those seats, and that's very uncomfortable, and you can't do anything because they're, they're, uh, they're not real roomy because you got as many guys in that plane as it'll hold. When you feel those wheels leave the ground, you had it because you're not coming back. <laughs> not in that plane. Nobody was sitting there crying or worrying about getting home or anything else. We we're just, we we're just living today for what today was and, and take, it, take it as it comes, one minute at a time. So then we flew across that channel. The Krauts, they cut loose. Boy, the anti-aircraft was bursting around us and, uh, and the airplane was rocking and rolling. You had to hold on to the side of the plane because when you get the green light, everybody gets out of that plane as fast as they can go. As it came over San Silver, we started getting a considerable amount of flak, uh, ACAC -ac from German ACAC -ac unit that had moved in to San Silver, and we were down low coming over the channel. We had come up to about 600 feet and found that at that altitude, there were clouds. We were in clouds, out of clouds. Some of the aircraft went down below to stay in the clear. Others went above to stay in the clear above the cloud. So it, it, it contributed to a lot of dis basically built-in dispersion as far as the air column was concerned. Technically, when you jump, they're supposed to slow that plane down to about 125 miles an hour and then lift the tail a little bit to make sure you don't get hung up on it, and then you jump. Well, this plane was going as fast as that C-47 could go, because he was in trouble. They were really shooting the sky uh, apart around him, and you could hear the shrapnel going through the wings and pushing all around you, and you're holding on, you know, trying to get out of that plane. Well, he was going, uh, he was going at least 150 miles an hour, and the opening shock was pow! And it, it knocked me goofy. I mean, it was just such a tremendous shock that I got. And I hit the ground, I was, I was unconscious when I hit the ground. 